Well, Pacific Junction is in need of a new playground. Their current one is still damaged from the flood and now mold is starting to grow. But the mayor's daughter says fixing the park could be the start of bringing the city back to life. Reporter Alex McLoon shows us getting that money all comes down to a vote, a vote that you can help with. Pacific Junction is still swamped with flood damage and many homes are vacant. Just in a matter of seconds, your life can forever be changed. Clyde Nelson is the daughter of PJ's mayor. She says even one of the city's parks felt the effects. Waters washed away trash cans, parts of tables, and left behind mold. Now she's hoping for anything to draw people back into town in the future. Just changed my kids' lives. I've got four girls. Um, they've always played at this park. This park might be the start of change. Clyde is asking for your vote in the Kiwanis Legacy of Play contest. Cities from around the country applied to win a $25,000 grant for playground equipment. A member of the Kiwanis group in Glenwood got notice of this grant while this park was still flooded. She also hopes you'll take the time to vote. Michelle Wright helped the Glenwood Kiwanis group apply for this money. She's volunteered her time to help flood victims and hopes this is another way to get the city back on its feet. And I just kept thinking, you know, we need to do more to help those people in Pacific Junction. And I kept thinking, you know, eight foot of water cannot be good for playground equipment. In order to win the grant for equipment, Pacific Junction needs to be one of 10 cities with the most votes by 11 a.m. Wednesday morning. From there, Kiwanis will decide which community to award the money to. Last time I checked, we were in about sixth or seventh place, so we really need everybody to go vote for us and help us out to make that top 10. We've still got kids down here yeah. that need to come back to something, something better. Reporting in Pacific Junction, Alex McLoon, 3 News Now. To vote for Glenwood and Pacific Junction, go to our website, 3newsnow.com. You'll need to do that before the voting closes Wednesday morning. Kiwanis says it will select the winner at the beginning of June.